Hey friends, Dawn here from Tech Savvy Creative. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite tech tips for photographers. I'm going to show you how to time sync multiple cameras together using Photo Mechanic. Now, I love this because I don't have to worry about it until I am in my post-processing workflow. So I'm home, my cards are uploaded to the hard drives and they've backed up, and now I can get started. Now. I will preface this. There is one step you will have to take on the wedding day, but once you get used to it and it fits into your normal wedding day workflow, it's pretty easy and it makes everything else so much easier. So let me talk about that real quick. On the wedding day, I need you to take a photo of your phone that has an app open that will show you the minutes, seconds, and hours, and date, and all that good info. All of that is really important um, because we are going to use this time to sync the cameras. Now, you're going to take a photo of the same phone with the same app open using all three, four, five, however many cameras you're using on the wedding day. Now, I recommend doing this at the very beginning of the wedding day so it's easy to find your time photo. Um, in this wedding here, I have a second shooter who was shooting with one camera and then I was photographing with two. So um, all three of those cameras will have this photo and that's what we're going to use for our reference. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is open Photo Mechanic and then I'm going to open the folder that I ingested all of the photos into. So I have that open here. I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to click on this drop down menu and I'm going to sort by serial number. Now, the reason why we are doing this is because we want to make sure that the photos are grouped by the camera serial number. It will also work to sort by file name if your file names are unique for each camera. However, I have found that it's just a little bit more accurate um, and you're not dealing with any type of recycling of numbers if you sort it by serial number instead. Okay. Now I've go already done this. I've already gone through here and sorted by serial number, so that's why it was so quick. If it's the first time that you're sorting these photos, it might take you a few minutes, so don't panic if it takes a little while. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll to the very top, and we're starting off with my first camera. You can see that here in the file name, DES underscore is one of my cameras. So I'm going to click on the photo of the clock that I took a photo of. I'm going to click on Tools, Adjust Capture Dates and Times. Now, I am going to take this window that popped up and I am going to use this number from the photo that I took and I'm going to type it in here. So 150 33 p.m. Making sure the date is correct, it sure is. Now, when I type that in, you can see up here in the relative box how these numbers populated. Okay, I'm gonna change this to um, six just so you see it change, right? Now, this is the important part because these numbers right here are what we're going to use to adjust the rest of the photos that I took with that camera, okay? Now, other important things. We wanna make sure that this box right here is not checked. If you check this box, it will make every single photo this exact time. <laughs> you want it to be relative, okay? You want to adjust all of these photos by one hour, three minutes, and 18 seconds. Not make all of the photos have a timestamp of 1.50.33. <laughs> That's what we don't want. Um, also down here, you want to make sure this box is checked. Update file creation time. Okay, now I'm going to click adjust photo and it's going to make the adjustment just to that one photo, okay? Now I need to select the rest of the photos from that camera. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down, okay? See kind of how the day recycled a little bit. Um, so the last photo I took with that file name right there is DES underscores right here. So I'm going to click Shift and click on that now it's selected 703 photos. I'm going to go to Tools, Adjust Capture Date and Times, and you'll see here that it is saved 
what I did last time. So because I synced that one photo, it remembered it from that last time. So we're good to go there. Everything looks great. I'm gonna click adjust photos. And then it's gonna process. All right. So now that's done, I'm moving on to the next camera. Again, I'm just gonna click that one photo. Adjust capture date and time. 149.10 is the number. 49.10, the date is correct. Okay, you see how the relative adjusted? Negative one, negative one, negative 14. I'm going to adjust that one photo. Now I'm going to go grab the rest of the photos from that camera. Okay, still going, still going. Y'all, I'm a chronic overshooter. Okay, there we go. There's the last photo of that camera. I'm going to click on tools, adjust capture dates and times. Again, that relative time is here, which is what I wanna focus on, adjust photos. And here we go again. Okay, I'm gonna do that same process one last time. Adjust capture dates and times, 149.22, Adjust photo. And then I'm gonna highlight the rest of them. This is my second shooter's camera. And then adjust capture dates and times, adjust photos. And we wait again. Okay, now all of my photos should have their time synced. So now what I can do is click, oops, I'm gonna let that stop scrolling. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is click on the sort menu and then capture time. And ta-da, so everything should look in sync. So here's one way that I like to check it out. So over here in details, uh, my second shooter tends to shoot some macro details while I am shooting a little bit higher and it looks like everything is in sync. Yep, there we go, perfect. Now I can cull through all of these photos and everything is in order by the time it actually happened, not when the camera decided it happened. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tech tip. Um, if you are interested in learning more and if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Super excited to be on your journey and I'm cheering for you guys.